What's going on guys, TTL here. Gonna be going over my top four NBA props. Actually, let's make it five. Top five NBA props for today, November 4th, 2024. Thank you guys so much for all the love on the past few videos. It's been like two or three days since I've uploaded. I do apologize. Just been really busy this weekend. Um, but we're back, daily upload starting again. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. So I do want to mention VIP still has the money back guarantee going on. $20 a month. If you don't profit on your first day, you get your money back. Um, other than that, I am going to be using predictive profits for this research. Um, predictive profits is an amazing tool that I personally created accurate predictions you get alerts and notifications for the betting predictor if you purchase that very user friendly easy to use you'll see that in a second we have the betting predictor and the prop predictor the prop predictor is just a research tool that you can use um, similar to those like props.cash outlier things like that except it runs 10,000 simulations per prop and gives you a projected number for that player to reach and it tells you whether to take the over or the under and how many of those 10,000 simulations the player went over or under. Phenomenal tool, highly recommend it. And it's only $60 a month to start out. You can actually use TTL50 as your coupon code and you can get it for $30 your first month. Then we have the betting predictor. This is a little bit more expensive, but it's already up over 205 units since I started this in September. So around two months, two and a half months, and we're already up 200 units. It tells you the exact unit size to play, tells you exactly what to bet on. And this is for like money lines, spreads, that kind of thing. Highly, highly recommend both of these, but let's get into the video. We're going to be using the prop predictor for this, of course. And, um, yeah, let's just get into it. So uh, let's just go ahead and search for the player. We have MLB, NBA, NFL, and college football right now. Counter-Strike will be added in probably around a week. I'm trying my hardest to get that added. Some big things coming to the website. But let's get into this. Our first play of the day is going to be, and I have to use Microsoft Edge for price picks right now. I don't know if anybody else is encountering this, but it's like, press and hold and then i'll hold for like 30 seconds and it'll say try again and i just keep on pressing and holding and it just won't let me on the price picks on google chrome so hopefully that gets fixed but nba we're gonna go with drew holiday and we're gonna take his under nine and a half rebounds and assists. this is versus the hawks today game starts at 7 45 p.m i'm assuming it says 7 45 here but then 7 55 here they probably need to fix that but 7.45 p.m. versus the Hawks. I'm loving this play for Holiday under 9.5 rebounds and assists. Let's take a look at the prop predictor and see why I'm liking this so much. So we can scroll down. Rebound, rebounds and assists. Excuse me. This is actually minus 145 on sports books right now. So we're already getting a little bit of extra juice in six picks, five picks, four picks, or even two picks um, if you want to take it in two picks. Even in those, we are getting positive EV just based on odds. But then when we go further on to the under hit in 84.42% of those 10,000 simulations. And when we click on him, we can see this season, he's went under in six out of seven games. He went for eight RA, then three, seven, 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 six, and then got 11 in his last game. We have him projected for right around 7.15 RA today. So we can assume that means seven. And against the Hawks, they're both middle of the pack for both assists and rebounds allowed. But, I mean, they're actually almost top 10 for assist allowed. So almost in the 33 percentile. But they're ranked 11th in assists allowed, allowing 25 assists per game. And they're ranked 15th in rebounds allowed, middle of the pack, allowing right around 54 rebounds per game right now. So... I'm loving this play for Drew Holiday under 9.5 RA. There's a reason this is minus 145 on sports books already. And I do expect this to bump down to 9 over on prize picks and on underdog if this is on underdog. So highly recommend taking this one. And while this is running the simulations again, there must have been an update to some of the simulations. We'll go ahead and go to prize picks and go to our second play of the day, which is going to be Morant over 9 assists. So... I recommend taking this on a sports book 
or on the likes of like Chalkboard or Sleeper, use code TTL, get a 100% match and a free month of VIP by using my code TTL. But Chalkboard or Sleeper, just because it's eight and a half, I, I really hate pushes, um, but this is fine to play over on prize picks at nine. He's probably gonna go over nine, nine and a half anyway, but eight and a half does avoid that push potential that we have here. So let's go ahead and search up for John Morant. Assist over eight and a half. We can see this is minus 150 over on Sportsbooks. Um, we have him hitting an 82.66% of those simulations. So I'm loving, loving, loving this. When we take a look at him, we can see he's only went under one game this season. We have him projected for 9.88 assists this game. So around 10 assists. We can see he's went for 10, 10, 11, 14, 12. And then that one game he had two assists. He's also against the 17th team in the league for assists allowed. So a bottom half team right here, allowing 26 assists per game. John Morant has been such a team player this season. He's actually been doing great all around the board. He's been scoring. He's been passing. Uh, but he's really been getting a ton of assists lately. And um, I don't think that's going to stop today. So let's go ahead and take John Morant over 8.5 assists. Or again, it could be 9 over on Sportsbooks or Chalkboard. Our third play of the day, we're going to take LaMelo Ball. We're going to take his over 31.5 points and assists. This is a line that is a little bit off. Um, and by a little bit, I mean literally just a little bit. Um, sports books, chalkboard, sleeper, everyone has this at 32.5 points and assists. I liked the over at 32.5, and, and then I saw it was 31.5 on prize picks. So I am loving this. It seems like a lot of people are already taking his over 25.5 points. I prefer his points and assists, especially at this 31.5 line. And uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at that one. So we can see LaMelo Ball points and assist 32 and a half. So at 32 and a half, it's minus 105 odds. At 31 and a half, it was like minus 140. So I do really, really like that. We can see he went over this in 82.25% of games. His points, he went over his points line in 82.26%. So very, very similar for both of these. Now, the reason I like his points and assist, again, is because it is even bumped down to 31 and a half. So um, if it goes up to 32 and a half, that's when I would switch over and start taking his points. But either way, I think he's getting like 30 points today. Um, so I don't think he's going to have any issues hitting the 32 and a half either. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this, though. We can see he's only went under in one game this season. He got 45 PA, 38, 34, 25. So even when he went under, it was like just barely. He got 35 and then 42 in his last game two days ago. We have him projected for 36 points and assists. Again, he went over this in 82.25% of the simulations. Um, the opposing team are ranked 14th in points allowed, so middle of the pack, allowing 112.5 points per game. And they are 22nd in assists allowed, allowing 26.5 assists per game. So I'm loving both of those stats, points and assists versus this opposing team. Look beautiful. Let's lock it in and let's move on to our fourth play of the day. So let's go ahead and head over here. We're going to go Alexander Walker. So um, Alexander Walker over nine and a half points and assists. I'm loving this one for a very similar reason. It's on the opposing team of the Hornets. Um, this is 10 and a half on sports books, 10 and a half on chalkboard, 10 and a half on sleeper. And it's like minus, I mean, uh, it's like minus 130 ish at the nine point uh, on the 10.5 on those like chalkboard and sleeper. So it's like a 1.7 X, uh, 1.74, something like that. So we're already getting good odds at 10 and a half on prize picks at nine and a half. That's just beautiful. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And we can see right here, points and assists, 10 and a half. It's minus 120 on sports books for the 10 and a half. He's went over this in 82.63% of games. And when we take a look, we can see he's gotten 14, 11, 8, 14, 13, 12. Um, we have him projected for pretty much 12 PA today. His line's 9.5. It's a 2.5 point difference. And when we look at the Hornets, they are 25th in points allowed per game, allowing 119 points per game. They're 19th in assists allowed. Um, allowing 26.3 assists per game. I don't think 
Alexander Walker is going to have any issues today. This one, I'm just locking in, going with it. And let's move on to the next and final play of the day. The fifth and final play of the day. Now, I am going to take, there's two plays that I really like today that I could take here. Now, I, I'm i going to go ahead and tell you guys both of them. So, technically, you're getting six plays today. The first play I would recommend is Wimbanyama under points and rebounds, but this got bumped down. This was at 34 and a half. I put in a six pick and it bumped pretty much four minutes later to 33 and a half. Um, so it wasn't even a 0.5 bump for push. It was literally just a full point uh, lower. So I'm not going to take this one officially. I'm going to make the official fifth and final play be Tyus Jones over 10 rebounds and assists. Again, this is very similar to Morant. You can take this at nine and a half over on sportsbooks, chalkboard, sleeper, the, the likes of those. So I would recommend taking it there. But even with the push potential, if you're playing it in a six pick or something like that, it's worth taking. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We can see his rebounds and assists right here. Minus 145 to go over nine and a half. He went over this in almost 83% of those simulations. And when we can look, he's hit this in five of six games this season. He pushed in one single game. He went for 10, 6, 12, 11, 14, 11. We have him projected for right, right around 11 RA, 10.76. Um, the opposing team allow a ton of both of these. 24th in assist allowed, allowing 28 assists per game. 26th in rebounds allowed, allowing 57 rebounds per game. So either way, Tyus should be able to get 11 or 12 today minimum, especially against this weak defense. Let's lock it in, guys. Let's go 5-0 and today. And guys, sign up to PredictiveProfits.ai. Use code TTL50. Again, you get you 50% off your first month or week or year if you want to go for a year. But your first purchase, it gets you half off. So that could be a week, month, or year. Take advantage of this. Prop predictor. If you're on sports books, the betting predictor is phenomenal as well. You can purchase that too or the all access, which gives you both. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys in the next video.